show me your last dance. Exactly the same as your footwork. Yeah, that was good. Good explosive movement. Ah, 
I just went from the yeah. thought, right? If I knew if I had all my arms that I Feeling has to be this. 
not this. This, because this is that. Partner, you help the partner to go down. Hmm. You need to push the partner and make that his shoulder and hip is not anymore on the same line. Here you can overwhelm easier. Yeah, you understand? I think they're trying to hang down. So, not like that. That's, we barely make, anymore we barely make this. Because a lot of time, partner now use the movement to continue. And you miss the target. Now it's more that kind of move. So, same with the back head. Push, overwhelm. Push, overwhelm, partner. And the second one is more reserve. Yeah. Keep back, keep in the front. Like, somebody hold me, hold me, let me go. And of course then, the foot deplacement is nearly like one movement. Like that. Like this. Yeah? Understand? Try to make both. Excellent. So change stance, high guard, toe oblique, yeah. Action. 
see? This has to surprise. This has to finalize. Surprise, and then you finish. Now that's what you will do. High mawashi, but without the extension. And to surprise the partner, put the knee up, but what is important, not only that. Look, reaction. Different. Feeling like, like that. Wow. Just the knee, partner, make attend. attention. Foot up, watch out. Because you are afraid of this. And it's logic. Foot goes closer to the eye. So you are more afraid. Ah, like this. And the same knee level, you don't have the same bad feeling as defender. Better. Yeah? Let's go. Faint Mawash and Kizan. I can make a slide on key. Because you have to, you need the floor to bounce to the power. Yeah. So the idea of plyometric. So from here, knee, not try like that. One, fast. So you try to gain a certain speed by the movement. You gain speed. That's speed by touching the floor and bouncing to the partner. Use the floor like a trampoline. And I can jump in half. Knee up, surprise! But you need a movement that is compact in the middle. A stand that is short. And bend. Bend the knees. Heel up, bend the knees. And push. Up, down, push. Yeah? And not with your heel, like that. The front part of your foot, just the front part. Okay, yes. go. Yes. No, you need an effort. Non stop, from the start. Breathing will help you. If you tense or hold your breathing, it's not good. As soon as I'm here, I'm pushing to put my knee up, I have to move out. Like that. Yeah, come on, go. Partner down. 
A lot of time the problem, you feel too much about your feet. And this part is too relaxed, and you think not falling. And you move here, and you are gone. It pass. Yeah? So tensing up a part. And even a bit pushing the part. Two by two. There it is. Core 20. Oh, my legs are good one, my legs are good one. very light. Yes. Yeah? So, smooth and easy. Yeah? Go from one rhythm to the other one. From here to here. Like this. When you can do that, even with skipping, then you are quite good. Okay, slow, faster, okay, that's good. The, this part here, the first, the first time you just go down, stay, and relax. Down, stay, second of three, and relax. Down, stay, second of three, and relax. About ten times, and stop. Yeah? Okay. And uh, here, you can hit. <laughs> you will do it with a partner. Put your knees on it. Your knees. Two jumps first, no? I don't know, it's two jumps first? Two jumps first, then two uh, jumps first. Okay. Jump, 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 stop. Jump, stop, go, jump, stop. Go. Jump, stop. So, 
the movement it's not 50-50 and I try to change like that of course both feet touch the floor but I put my weight to the back and then I push on the side and when you check my lights we are working again with lights look me and this one go here like that uh, about uh, so it could be this not too early because then partner can follow with my washing you have still to make think that you are going back let things in the partner you go back and then you switch on the side that's the idea make think the partner you are going back so you can't make short and go side you have to make still that move that move and from here push up so that's what you will do now with a little counter so it's like a, I call that a triangle work point A point B point C come back like that, just simple as that back side come back back side come back and then you can short number 2 to go a bit faster back side come back so the side part a little shorter to go fast on the Uraken example yeah, but the work is still the same one, two in front yeah, just that one first Us. On a Kizami Gak attack, because otherwise it's like one and two. Uh, for example, you, you are two in pyramid with your stand, so you go one and hip, you slide. So that transfer, like that side transfer, has to be more like that, in one position. So you go back, one position, side, front. Uh, accentuate that move by only putting like one foot on the floor like, like this uh, play like that only one foot like this yeah that's right let's go you do kizami yaku Example, my first one. 
Here, my weight is backwards. Then, I throw everything to the front. What means that when your weight is back, your front, front leg is uh, light. Okay? So, now, change. You, that's you. You adapt. And, one time, you absorb content gap, like we just did. Okay? One time. Up. Absorb gap. The second time you do the same absorption, but that front foot touch her front leg. But not wait. It's exactly the same move. So this, this, this. The same. Yeah, one time. So my leg is light. Okay, leg is light. Tack. Touch. Touch. Hit. Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan, kick, sorry. Without, without down, straight, direct, direct Jordan motion. And the gap. So see now, there is, uh, she say, okay, she think mawashi, for her mawashi means only back and finish. No, I want. Mawashi and be able to come back. Mawashi contact, bam. Same as that. One, two. Mawashi, two. Again. Jean Maman, get to me. Hop! Yeah. What is this earlier that Mawashi is too slow? Hop! Yeah. And absorb a bit now, Mawashi. She comes, bam! Absorb. Mawashi back. Continuing or 
kicking, they let go. And they let go. So be more uh, hard, fast, like sec in that movement in the leg of the partner. So when you train, you put your uh, shin protection more inside uh, to not get too much boost. And the partner has to absorb and at the same time put a bit of kime, I will say, in that ashibarai movement. Bam. You have to see that leg that is moving. That is moving inside. Yeah? So now do that. Put your shin protectors a bit more inside. And I would say keep the part down. <coughs> Just watch out to not touch the knee of the partner. And so not too high. And keep distance. It's not just kicking down, it's kicking down and at the same time putting my face out of distance. So this is the teasing part, but this is the recovery part. Bam! Bam! Like that. Bam! Back! Then I can hit. Yeah? As soon as you see the reaction of partner is I uh, check my balance, then you have to hit. If the partner don't move, you just run away. You don't come back. Yep, let's go. And so the intensity of the fighter is high and you have to <clears throat> keep your point without showing that you run away, of course, and staying in the fight, but being safe. So a lot of time that movement of absorbing side front is a very good drill because, come to me, when the partner will try to make his Front move, you go back with your hands in the way, side, and you cut the distance like that. You, I want you now to short the distance once you finish your drill. So not, not like this. One, try like that. Because you put yourself in danger from a, a straight point that can maybe pass between your hands. So you have to go slightly on the side, slightly side, and push. So you, you are searching like the shoulder of the partner. You understand? So put yourself like whoops in the corner so that you don't run back, but that you absorb. The first movement is still that. Not straight on the side because then the partner can continue this way. Huh? You need to show back that. That's the idea. Or you can do the other side. One, two, and go here. Like that. You choose the side you want, but I want you to, at the end, have the shoulder of the partner. Like that. Like turn. The turn. A complete turn. But safe. You are here, that hand here. Here. So that partner cannot try to counter like this. And you uh, put out of stability your partner by pulling, pushing. Like this. So you control the partner. You have to be in a position that you dominate your partner here. Put your foot outside for a fall. Huh? Or or twist. So you are in a good position. And not one and continue, continue, and then you are here so that partner is maybe in a good position to make Ashibarai continue or another throw or a kick or whatever. So don't keep just like this. No. Try one around punch. So one, two, three, and nine. Back, side, front, and turn. Back, side, front, and turn. Like that. Back, side, front, twist. Yep, let's go. You try. Your hand here, close, push, and down. But the partner that attacks is not always finish. No, you have 20 seconds to score. So one, you see back, you come back, and you try to, to hit again. And you don't let go of your partner. Try to push the partner in the corner to attack. Yeah? Corner work. Come on. And example, you have 
that's my little bit. If the attack, attack and the uh, opening is too big here on the side, and I'll double uh, control that. And pass it here, pass it here. I will not now go to the curve. Point, make it simple. Every time it has to be really, uh, realistic. Now, the, what I was asking was that the paddle press a bit more so that your door is more smaller. So sometimes you don't have that chance to go on the side like you want when you're being kicking. So then, you are one, two, one, two, you are here. And when you are in that kind of position like this, I'm not going just like that because all this move here, I'm a target. Uh, maybe she can continue with that punch, with that kick, with a, a reverse kick, whatever. So here, in that certain position, that's the best way. Okay? When you are close, it's the best way to enter, turn, and then go up. But when your position is open and you are here, don't go to the partner again. Just come out, point. Okay, and then go left, right, bit of pressure, and that's finished. Okay? So the partner that attack, close more. And the partner that defend, feel. Are you far or not far when you escape? What's my distance between me and my partner when I go on the side? If it is long, I go straight on the side. If it is short, I can't. Yeah? Let's go. Without, with up. No, it takes two time. One, and then you go side. When you think about side, side. 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 Fast side. 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 You see, your, your body for the moment is always straight. Yeah. <laughs> Play your body is like I go that side and push it to go faster. Always straight, straight. Ajibay! Ajibay! Get the second score. You get two points, 
even better. Yeah? How do you make? Well, it's essential. It's the beginning of the match. You move. And uh, a lot of uh, good players, uh, they have, uh, they change distance a lot. Because they want you to follow them. Because always there is, uh, in a match, always like one that you want to push or is leading and the other one that follows. Uh, <clears throat> and sometimes, even I am good, I'm not the person that push all the time. I let the partner do. So she will follow me and move. Okay, As she, she, when she wants to attack, away. And I come back. So for purpose, I open more my distance because I know the next reaction will be she will close. And I do that a few times. So um, I press the button a bit, then release. And on that time, I know she will close again. Then I press, she attack, I release. Or oh, she wants to attack, I release. And that's the teasing part. But you have to be quite good for that. When partner wants to attack, you break. You don't want to come, you break the distance. But you need a lot of space for that. You don't do that in a corner system. You do that when you are close. You feel, uh, you feel tension is on, and part the one spot, you wait. And for the part is, oh shit, I'm out of distance, I close. Out of distance, I close. Out of distance, blah, 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 and then you come back. And then you have to make the last one. Out of distance, come back. Blah, blah, blah. And you run on the partner knee. So you go back, front, like this. Like a double back movement, double front movement. So you make back, back, stop. You move, back, back, stop. Back, back, from front. You understand? Breaking the distance, so pushing, breaking. Breaking. Pushing, breaking. Pop, pop, pop. Come back. That's the idea. Play with the distance but with a lot of mobility. A lot of mobility. Now, sometimes you have to make work where mobility is short and fast. Now, it's with footwork that you have to hit the partner. Big. Come back. Ajime. The front and then go back. Or to the side and then we go back. Let's do it again. So we move normally first. Front, press in front, back, then face front. And then I then go back. Press, press, foot. Hop! Relate, relate. Push, push. Push back, 
when part of the foot, I have to keep like this, so long as possible. And not from here, show a way that I want to make an attack, because then you will get a reaction. You have to show the distance, but without like, just being like this. But in your head, you know you attack. So, example, I one 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 ba, that will be a good move. For the view of the partner, it's good. When you let your arm go too early, maybe she can react with a gap. Because don't forget the partner is going front, but it's not with, without hands. It has also done the gap. So you go front with nothing, you faint, but you let your hands so long as possible. You let your hands so long as possible, and then Maximum two movements, not one, two, three, and five to make a lot of moves. It's a one, one, or one, two, four, one. Well. That's all. One and one, or one over one and two. Point. Yeah? Let's go. Let's go. Pied là. Pas. Et puis tu dois bouger et tout pied. Avant. Quand tu fais ça. Il y a ton corps qui avance, mais ton pied reste là. Et donc là, c'est fini. Là, tu dois avancer le pied de l'attaque. Bon, stop. Go avec ça. Yesterday, we did this kind of movement to not uh, uh, get thrown by somebody. I want you now, uh, I want to give you a tip about grabbing because some fighters and you have to use on that not everybody grabs here or there some grab here you don't feel it you don't see it a lot and certainly for the referee because they put the gun just here in your knee and it's like they just hold you like this but actually they grab you uh, and they go down like that so it's a not complete other feeling than being moved like this. Because here, like that. Ah. Egyptians exam a lot, but they, well, they are very good, I told you, in front arms and leg. So they fold themselves to the front. But ah. that hand is here. And keep here. So they are like that, and then, or they go like this with the sweep, or they go down with that hand hard. And then they try to combinate, or to work with the girls to kick. Uh, because girls, I don't know what they do with their hip, but very short, they kick. So, but this is the important part. So now you do it to the opponent. One, and grab here. Or here, or even heavy weights, even back. Yeah. And then you go like that. Like this. So do it back to your partner so you know also how it feels and you can be prepared on that. Yeah? Let's go. Like that. In the woods. What's the rule about body? Two seconds. Two seconds. And two seconds. What about this?
So now, if I want to play a bit with the rules, I go like this. I go up with that hand. So this one is three. I pull. I pull. I catch. I catch. And I go. So here, it looks a bit the same as it's now. Because I go up with one hand, I make one score. I go up, one score. So every grab is like one punch. Of course, now it looks a bit bad. You have to think a lot. But when you do it a lot, it becomes easy. That is the way of not always first thinking about grab. Grabbing has to be natural. You grab because you want to hit. I'm grabbing because I want to hit and I let go. I grab because I want to hit. And not First grab, fake, and then hitting non-stop. Another movement that you can do, and that is example, this is good. One, you grab, you grab, you punch, then you push the partner like that. Pushing, pushing is allowed in the way that you want to make a score. Pushing is not allowed when I want to avoid the match. I want to avoid fighting, I want to lose time. I'm pushing, or I push her to try to make a job guy. That's not allowed, I get wrong for that. But pushing my hip to her hip to make like this to score, that's good. Nobody will say that. And it's not over my hip, so it's stitched in the room. Yeah? So close distance, make a movement like one punch, having punch distance and continue your movement by kicking or by pushing. Yeah? That's only smooth. Punch, grab, punch, continue. Adjure. It's big different drills. But when you do this in training, you have to think like challenges. Every point that I'm making is trying to make a score. And why did I do so much? To see your reaction. And now what you do, you short everything. Because you are thinking on the end every time of each drill. You are thinking, how do I throw my partner? But that point already the first one is always not good. My first one has to be, I remember, relax, with that, that guard a bit from down, push, ah, like this. Now I am at a distance, focus for that move. I put my head like that, and pull up. That's good. And now from here, that's it. But when I see you making the punch, I will not give a point. Huh? Already. When I, give, I see you making the front punch, I don't give a point. So you are too much thinking, okay, how do I do it? No, just let yourself do. You make mistakes, you make mistakes. The second one, so after this one, everything is about looking, how it looks. If I make this, uh, 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 that was too good. That <laughs> <laughs> <I> was good. <laughs> uh, Not a full breeze would say too short. Uh, but I would be angry because shit, I touch, I make a score, and they don't give it to me. Because you don't show properly. When you are in a short distance like this, referees, they need space. They need space to see. Otherwise, it goes too fast. Then a fraction. Ah! Was that point or not a point? Then he don't know. He's thinking point or point. No, too late. So you have to uh, help him. Some 
sometimes it even passed. On 
va se mettre à cette distance-ci, voilà, et chacun son tour, sans ramener, direct, jambes avant, hop, ça mal, à toi, voilà, et aller en arrière un petit peu avec le cou, donc pas faire juste ça, là, pencher en arrière, et on revient, pencher, et on revient, <laughs> so you do the uh, exercise jack jack. Jack cheval out Donc j'ai un partenaire qui va faire l'exercice Jack Chudal, sorti Jack Chudal pendant le commis. Moi, sur le mouvement, vas-y. Mawashi, une fois que j'ai l'impact, mais direct. Donc pas besoin, pas, 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 pas chassé. Ça obligera le partenaire à bien faire sa sortie. S'il n'y a pas de sortie, ben, il y a la crèche qui passe. Donc ici, impact. La vache. Et tu dois revenir.
passe en face faire, c'est travailler des, des rythmes et des distances différentes. Donc qu'est-ce que je vais faire ici Je fais un kafou, petite sortie, Kizami, grande sortie. Sortie. Ah. Sortie vers le haut. On y va, allez, je vais. 